I'm going to Canada. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Di Fisayo. I am a travel blogger. I am on a growth journey and I am currently a student, a master's student here in Canada. So I'm going to be sharing more of my Canada journey as time goes on and this video is a first step to that. So right now, I want to share with you how um, I was able to get my visa. So this video is going to be in two parts. The first part is where I actually show you a vlog of my journey. And then the second part is where we would cover the documents and the process it took me. So if you're focused on looking at the steps and the process and knowing the documents you require to apply for an international student visa um, to Canada, just look at the description. I'm going to share the timestamps in the description. So what the timestamp is, is basically saying if it's going to be in the 15th or 10th minute, once you look at the description, I would write it out oh, 15th minutes. This is where I speak on the document and all you have to do is click on it and it automatically fast forward the video to the exact moment. Okay. So now enjoy the vlog. Day I officially begin to vlog my Canada journey in faith <laughs> and I hope this you know speaks to somebody as well I mean in hopes that when I'm eventually going to post this it's going to be that I'm in Canada already and it speaks a lot that yes faith does works nonetheless I'm going for my um, biometrics now I did my medicals two days ago that was on Monday today is 5th of May 2021 my birthday is approximately seven days time i believe yeah i'm correct may 12. anyway so this is a birthday gift from god to me there's a long story behind this <laughs> but yeah 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 so let's go let's see how it goes my first time doing this i mean for canada i'm like okay Fisaya, why not just you know vlog your canada journey if not for anybody but for me to you know inspire myself as to see, see, yo, see, see what happened, see where you are now. So yeah. See you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. is watching this other meal I eventually decide to publish it I'm done with my biometrics so it's now countdown and prayers <laughs> yeah thank you Jesus guys I am currently in Abuja for my friend's wedding Timmy Lola now Mrs. Timmy Abiyo I'm where I'm getting to is I'm currently in Abuja and guess the good news I yeah I want to make sure I pronounce that well without getting the H factor in Anyways, your girl got. Let me whisper. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just like my agent just messaged me saying, "Send your passport. Send your passport. We're gonna get a stamp on it. You're going to Canada next month. You know, God answers prayers like this week." This week, I have been petitioning God. I have been praying. I said, God, you see my heart. I am tired of waiting. God, help. I really, and God came through. Like, I was like, God, today I must testify. Like this, like I had a night video yesterday or this morning between the hours of 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. I said, God, I must testify today. And this is just a testimony that God answers prayers. Like the same day, I said, God, today is the day. I must give testimony today and here I am giving testimony. So I want to make sure I record this. I'm so thankful to God. God answers prayers. I'm so sorry for ever doubting you, God. God, I'm thankful. I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You did this. You're an OG. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. Like, I'm not even showing sure how excited I am yet. I can't even wait to get back to Lagos to hug my mom, hug my brother. Like, talk more about how excited we are because of course we're start we're now talking of the next phase of accommodation because i'm going for school of course so 
I mean, I even can't even wait to speak to my professor. I've been speaking to one of my professors through LinkedIn. You might be watching this video now, who knows? Hi, <laughs> <I>, professor. <laughs> Anyways, I can't even wait to tell him as well because he has been saying, oh, I can't wait for you to come. Basically, we've been pretty, no, well, we've both been very hopeful that I'm going to get this visa. And finally, somebody shout hallelujah. I'm excited, guys. Let's see how this journey goes. By the way, if this does you anything, it means, or if this teaches you anything, I wanted to teach you to submit to God, have, have faith and pray, ask God for what you want, petition him, he will answer you. Because there's a particular part, Bible verse that says, if your parents, your earthly parents, you know the heart of man is desperately wicked as the word of God says. And if someone that is a man that is on earth, that is your, your father or your mother, takes care of you, how much more God, the one that is love personified, how much more God? How much I said, and I kept reminding God, I said, God, if my mommy, my daddy can do this for me, how much more you God? There's a lot more that is a store for you to do for me as my heavenly daddies. Come on, come on, come through for your daughter. Do you get so? So just little things I was discussing with God, and God has come through. This is just part one. I'm going to share, celebrate more testimonies with you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Deuces. Welcome, 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 welcome back. So honestly, that journey was to the glory of the Lord. I recently just wrote an article on how I was able to apply for my, um, how I was able to get my admission to my current university, which is Royal Road University. And writing the article made me reminisce and made me reflect on my journey and how God has been faithful. Um, I would share more on that in a different video. So I don't want to speak on that now. I would advise you to also click the link in the description if you want to learn how to apply for, um, an admission but you watching this video i assume that you already have an admission because I, I i got my admission in march i applied at the ending of january so let's say january 28th and i got my admission on the 3rd of march there about i checked my email yesterday to confirm um after which i began my application for my visa i began like almost immediately and it took me a month to get all my documents together and I applied in April. I applied for my visa in April. I applied for my visa in April and I got it in March, as you could have seen. In the, sorry, I applied for my visa in April and I got it in August, as you could, could have seen in the video. And I've shared a bit about what the process was like in my previous videos as well. I'm going to link it somewhere where I shared out the testimony of when like, I was expecting to go to school in August and I was still waiting for my visa in August and how that tension was and how God took the glory and how it just basically came through. I'm going to link the video somewhere here. So now, let's start with the documents. Now, I'm basically going to be sharing with you the documents I submitted. Now, not everyone is going to submit. Like, it's not compulsory for you to sum up, submit some of these things. For example, what I wrote here, IELTS is not compulsory, but my agent, um advice that I submitted my IELTS. So IELTS is one thing because you're Nigerian and they want to see your proof that you can speak English. And if it's a French speaking province you're coming to um, learn at, then you submit something that's equivalent that shows that you can speak French and you understand French fluently. Um, what else? So I submitted my statement of purpose. Yes. <laughs> statement of purpose is not just for the school. Apparently, you have to write what exactly you want to come and study in Canada, why you want to study in Canada, why you are choosing to come to Canada, how long you'll be coming to stay in Canada. Um, I believe it was a two-page document. I'll keep talking of my agent as I, as I proceed in this video. And if you want me to connect you with the agent that helped me with my international student visa to Canada, feel free to send me an email at eloadifisayo.com. So the next thing I submitted was my international passport, of course, but not the hard copy. For the visa application process, all I did was submit a soft copy. So you just either take a picture and scan it or scan it from a um, printer and get your soft copy that way. Um, undergraduate university certificate. I went to just one undergraduate um, school or <laughs> I have just one undergraduate degree and it's Coverage University. So. I have my university certificate, so it was easy for me to just submit that. Um, I have I submitted my birth certificate, I submitted my resume, so your resume should be able to back up whatever you're writing in your personal statement, your essay. Um, I submitted my tuition receipt, so I have been able to, I had been able to pay a deposit of my school fees already. 
right? So they expect to see you, you made some commitment to the school. So I submitted that as well. Now, the list of all the things I'm going to mention, or I, or I am mentioning right now, will be in the description as well. Um, I also submitted my official transcript. I submitted my letter of financial support um, from my co-sponsor. Now, I'm going to attach a template in the description as well. I mean, just, be check, just check the description. A lot of links and resources will be shared there. Now, um, submitting your evidence of financial standing. I'm trying to find out the exact word. A statement of account is important. And your statement of account shows how much you have in your account and how your spending has been in the past one year. It was one year, I believe, I, I focused on, right? And apart from that, but apart from your statement of account, if you believe you want to get an additional sponsor, now the essence of getting an additional sponsor is to let the embassy know that if anything happens to the money in your account or if you run out of fund, this additional sponsor can be there for you. We'll be able to back you up if anything happens. So that is now the essence of set of, of submitting a letter, a letter of financial support from my co-sponsor. And in this case, my co-sponsor was my mom. Shout out to you, mama. <laughs> I submitted my work certificate. <laughs> I submitted my national ID card. And like, since my mom was also my school sponsor, I submitted my mom's school um, national ID card as well. I submitted all the pictures of all the awards that I have gotten in the past. Just to, I mean, it was not, I don't think this is required, but my visa officer was like, everything that can share supports that you are strong in this field that you know what you are saying and we'll give you we'll give you a proof of we shall speak well for you i can't remember how he put it i should submit so all the certificates all the awards i'd received in the past as a tourism professional i took a picture of it and i submitted that as well um i submitted my nyc certificate and I mentioned I submitted my statement of account. Now, my statement of account, I submitted not just my personal statement of account, but my business statement of account. Um, because I was trying to show that, oh, this is all the money I have. I can take care of myself. And I have an added sponsor. If anything happens to me, push comes to show. This is the amount that she also has in her account. And this is where she works. If Now that you are seeing that this is where she works, they would require that you submit extra documents showing that she actually works there. Now, that can take, when the person is working in a private company you can get that document maybe in a week or two if the person is working in a, in a, in a government part that can take a long time you know bureaucracy in the government place of work usually is you know you know how it is and because i submitted my um what's it called now i submitted my business statement of account i had to submit my csc document to prove that i actually own this business and i did medicals the medicals, all I had to do was show up and pay the money. I don't know what transpired. Of course, they took my blood, so I had to raise my hand and say, take my blood. <laughs> um, and they did some ECG scan as well. And yeah, that happened. And that cost me 41,000. I'm sure the price would have changed right now, but that was the cost of the medicals. Um, all that now, these are just the documents. I believe I've gone through everything. These are just the documents I submitted. Um, this is excluding the other documents that we would find on the Canadian website. There are so many forms I filled that was sent to me from my agent that was required from the Canadian website. So me filling the form of my name, putting the information of my parents, putting, putting in the information of my siblings, letting them know that I have ties here in, Niger there in Nigeria. Um, all of those information will be, you know, sent to you from or you would see them on the website when you are applying now like i mentioned i used an agent in my application process and if you want me to connect you feel free to send me an email hello at the i'm trying to make sure that this video is not too long so yeah <laughs> if there's let me i'm trying to say yeah i said if if i remember anything else i'll definitely make sure i put it in the description box so make sure you go go and scout the description box if you don't know what the description box is and you're watching this video ask your friend oh please help me what's the description box here let me find out all the information i'm going to be putting links there so make sure you make use of that so ultimately this process costs me close to five hundred thousand naira. everything 
um, the application, the um, um, courier service for my passport, the visa itself, what else? The medicals, everything cost me, cost me close to 500,000 naira. Now, I am saying this and I'm going to add a disclaimer that prices will definitely change. Every year, there's inflation in Nigeria. As I told I applied, dollar to naira was not 500 to one dollar. <laughs> Now things have changed, okay? So please bear in mind that when I recommend my agent to you, the prices might not be the same because prices have changed. All right, I believe I've covered most of the things I want to share for this video. If you have any questions, I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Leave them in the description, um, in the comments, sorry. <laughs> that is what the comments are for. Leave your comment and if your comments requires that would make a separate video, then by all means, I will definitely do that. But if it's something I can answer by sending you a link or by answering your questions in four sentences, I will do that as well. So I'm here for you. I have been told, and I know this, that God blesses you to bless others. So that's why I know that God is putting it on my heart to share this. God has brought me into this position so that I can learn and also be a blessing to people. And that is what I'm trying to do. Giving you all the resources and all that I have learned to help you learn as well. So make sure that you use all of it and put all your plans in God's hands. Because at the end of the day, um, that's what we want. We want God's plans and his purposes for our life. That is what I want. So that's what I'm hoping you want as well. I want his will and will for my life. I believe you should go check out my, <laughs> my other video that I'm going to record soon on how I got my admission. I'm going to share more stories as to my testimony because it has not, doesn't been so rosy, right? So I don't want to get make this video too long. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for stay, staying to, thank you for staying tuned to this particular um, extent. And if it was of any value to you, please share this video. Be of value to people. Like I said, God blesses you to bless others. So be of value to people by sharing this video as well. And till next time, do not forget to stay yourself, stay inspired. Peace.